Hey Lunatics, it's Lady Luna, and I wanted to do a deep dive into a very interesting topic today, and that is evidence of the chakra system in the Bible. For those who don't know, the chakra system is known as an ancient Vedic mapping of seven main energy centers in the body, each one represented by a different color of the rainbow, and each with its own symbolism and effect. For example, here is a chart of where the chakras are located in the body, and what each chakra is known for. Typically, from the bottom up, the chakras carry these meanings. The root chakra deals with survival. The sacral chakra deals with creativity. The solar plexus deals with confidence. The heart chakra deals with love. The throat chakra deals with communication. The third eye chakra deals with intention and the crown chakra deals with spirituality. I talk about chakras a lot in my daily life. Many times I get funny looks from people when I do. Most Christian religious people here in the Western world tend to view the chakra system as just another New Age thing, or sometimes they even conflate it with witchcraft, which it is not. What most people may not know is that the concept of chakras has been practiced and discussed in every religion on the planet. Yes, even Christianity. First, let's define the word. The word chakras is a Sanskrit word meaning wheels with spikes radiating out from a center point. The crown chakra has been depicted in countless pieces of Christian art throughout history as something we've all heard of, a halo. The scriptures have many mentions of the number seven as a sacred number. There are seven chakras that go up the body from the base of the spine to the top of the head. Each chakra is assigned one of the seven colors of the rainbow and are aligned in a rainbow order up the body from red at the base to violet at the top. These seven parts of the body are responsive to these colors. For example, when we see the color red, we may feel angry or passionate because our root chakra deals with survival and basic needs above all else. Or when we see yellow, we may get feelings of elation or confidence because the yellow chakra is the solar plexus, which is where we control our confidence and actions. The number seven is far more sacred than many people know. It not only carries heavenly symbolism, it makes up who we are as eternal spirit beings. How many musical notes are there in music? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and those in between like flats and sharps. These basic notes make up seven notes. Our chakras respond to the seven notes just as they respond to the seven colors of the rainbow, starting with C, red, to B, violet. Several parts of the Bible refer to what many call the seven deadly sins. Proverbs 6, 16-19 states, These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are the abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Also, Colossians 3, 8 states, but now ye also put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. The official seven deadly sins are lust, sloth, gluttony, envy, wrath, greed, and pride, in no particular order. It is also well known that there are seven virtues that stand opposite of the seven deadly sins. These are chastity, diligence, temperance, gratitude, kindness, charity, and humility. These can easily be compared to the seven areas of the chakra energies which are survival, creativity, confidence, love, communication, intuition, and spirituality. Revelation 5, 1, and 6 state, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I beheld, and lo, the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. The seven seals mentioned here can only be opened by the Lamb, Jesus Christ. The seven horns of the Lamb represent heavenly power, while the seven eyes represent heavenly wisdom. 
Could it be that these seven seals represent the gateways that are open within us by following Jesus Christ? It would appear so. It is true that these passages are also foretelling events that lead up to the second coming of Christ. However, progression is the key concept being expressed here. One action flows into the next, just as one open chakra or seal within us leads to the next being opened. Genesis 9, 13-16 states, I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass, when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you, and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be set in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. There can be no rainbows without light shining through water in the atmosphere, which is what makes God's promise so meaningful. We cannot open our chakras, our seven centers of positive energy, without this light. After all, when we are full of light, we really do show our true colors. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment as to what you think and what other kinds of videos you would like to see in the future. If you made it this far in the video, be sure to leave the secret word of the day in the comments, which is rainbow. Thanks for watching guys. Talk to you later. Bye!